erection time. The turbine was erected successfully and was spinning merrily for a few hours when the rogue wind came up underneath it, lifted the whole turbine mast against the guy wires and uh, came crashing to the ground. So I fixed it and trimmed the base disc more aerodynamically and we put it back up. Okay, you guys on the wire, start pulling your wires in. Okay, a little more on the north pole. Okay, Mike, you can go ahead. And We're not north. At the last minute I had to place the bearings and I didn't get the hole drilled straight so the weather vane is cocked there. I replaced the bearings with a roller laid bearings which are probably undersized but we'll see. We have a lock now that keeps it from pulling out of its socket when the wind comes from underneath uh, conceivably and when it pulls on this it won't re let it release like it did the last time after we put it up the same day it got a wind that came right underneath it 31 pounds now I've streamlined it a little bit so then it goes up the mast with a series of tension cables to make a tensegrity structure and that goes up to this in the middle where we've got other wires connecting and holding it in position this mast pole only weighs six and a half pounds the whole thing, that turbine up there is 21 pounds. It's all 30 pounds or so. Notice the little white tabs on the openings to the veins. These should tell me a lot about the way the wind comes in and out of the whole system with different wind speeds. The spiral curvature of the veins is an involute curve, that is the unwinding of the circumference of the central disc, the yellow circle inside, which creates a unique shape that does, is non-constricting with multiple veins, so it takes the wind to the center of the turbine and out through the back, pushing all the time on the veins, a unique design.